Wow. I'm Mitchell from Australia, and this is the May 26th, 2021 total lunar eclipse, as predicted by the globe model. But there's just one problem. There was no total lunar eclipse. This is all anyone saw. A partial lunar eclipse. I live streamed this celestial event expecting to see a blood red moon, a total lunar eclipse, as predicted by the globe model. But I was sadly disappointed, along with millions of other viewers that night, because we only got a partial lunar eclipse. I checked with timeanddate.com. I was in the right area at the right time, but we didn't get to see the right event. Time and date still says we got to see a total lunar eclipse. So is this just an anomaly or a mistake by the globe model prediction? Even NASA got it wrong. This is what they predicted with their scientific visualization studio, which I want to point out there's nothing scientific about. And this is what NASA actually saw. A partial lunar eclipse. But surely this was just a one-off. Let's skip forward now two weeks, June 10th, 2021, to the annular solar eclipse. The ring of fire that so many people had been waiting for. Now let's take a look at who's going to actually get to see this event on the morning of June 10th. And in particular, those of you that are going to be in the sweet spot for the ring of fire solar eclipse in Canada, Greenland, and Russia. Particularly in parts of Canada, Greenland, and Russia, the eclipse will be a much more impressive show and produce what is called a ring of fire solar eclipse. This specific type of solar eclipse occurs when the moon is just a little bit farther away from the earth and doesn't quite cover up the entire surface of the sun as it does during a total solar eclipse. Animation courtesy of NASA's pseudoscientific visualization studio. And you know it's true, because a guy in a NASA shirt told you. And let's check this prediction from timeanddate.com. What we call the moon moving across the sun and creating the ring of fire. This is what we should have seen. But what did we actually see? This is from NASA videos. And this is the best they got. A partial solar eclipse. Again, another failed prediction. Why do ballers constantly tell us that the globe model is true because it can predict things like the eclipse? This is some more footage here from Ontario, Canada, where they should definitely have seen the ring of fire. But once again, this is all they got. So I'm challenging anyone to produce a picture or footage of the annular solar eclipse, the Ring of Fire, on 10th of June, 2021. Prove me wrong and prove your globe model right, because as it stands, your globe model is broken. A solar eclipse happens when a new moon moves between the Earth and the Sun, blocking some or all of the Sun's rays from reaching the Earth. By cosmic chance, even though the sun is 400 times wider than the moon, it's also 400 times farther away. Therefore, the two objects appear the same size in our sky. This model has now been proven wrong, Globus. Astronomers are able to predict eclipses because the Earth and moon have very predictable orbits. A total eclipse can only be seen if you're standing within the umbral shadow. That's why the imaginary line created by this shadow as it races across Earth is known as the path of totality. People within the penumbral shadow see only a partial eclipse, the second type. From this view, outside the path of totality, the moon passes in front of the sun off-center, never fully covering its surface. Third, an annular eclipse occurs when the moon passes directly in front of the sun. However, unlike a total eclipse, the moon appears too small to fully cover the sun. While a total solar eclipse happens somewhere on Earth every year or two, 
Any given point on Earth experiences the event only about once every 400 years. Astronomers are able to predict eclipses because the Earth and Moon have very predictable orbits. Astronomers are able to predict eclipses because the Earth and Moon have very predictable orbits. Your globe model predicted a total lunar eclipse. Your globe model predicted a ring of fire, an annular eclipse. Neither were observed because neither happened, because your globe model is debunked. The globe model cannot predict eclipses. Wow.